We do not have powerful, organized, institutionalized opposition in this country to the liberal establishment, to the ruling class. You want to see a great example of this? Jake Tapper on CNN just expressed his outrage, his dismay that the CDC seems to have misrepresented data on the coronavirus. The hospitals are still stretched thin because of this, so I'm not trying to take away from that. But if 40% in some hospitals, 40% of the people who have COVID don't necessarily have problematic COVID. They're there because they got in a car accident. They get, they're there because, right. um, you know, they, they bump their head. And they're being included as in the hospital with COVID. That number seems kind of misleading. We're two years into this, and to, we need the clearest picture possible. If somebody's in the hospital with a broken leg and they also have asymptomatic COVID, yeah. that should not be counted as hospitalized with COVID, clearly. I can't believe you. How dare you, CDC? How dare you, government officials? Just just present this data in a misleading way. Uh, where were the journalists? Where were all the journalists to ask you these questions two years ago? When, when, when we all just believe, oh, wait, wait, that's right. I'm a journalist. Oops. Right. I was supposed to be the one asking those questions. I'm glad that Jake Tapper is either outraged or pretending to be outraged now because the establishment and the ruling class was lying to us for two years. Some of us, by the way, I hate to say I told you so, some of us were calling this two years ago. But I'm glad Jake Tapper has caught up now. He should have been doing that the whole time. That's what an actual journalist would have done. That's what someone who's really speaking truth to power and asking the hard questions, that's what they would have done. But that's that's not what happened with our corporate media because our corporate press are not actually investigative reporters and journalists and fighting back against the entrenched power. They're part of the entrenched power. They're the same thing. The, the progressives in our government, the hardcore progressives are not there fighting against and sticking it to the big corporations. They're, they're working with the big corporations. They're all on the same side. And they're not getting asked the questions of the media and they're not having their premises questioned by the intellectuals in the academy, the, the, the people who are doing research on their own, the scientists and the other sorts of scholars who are also speaking truth to power. No, they're all, they're all just working together. They're all just part of the same thing. And whenever they appear to be in opposition, that's almost always just political theater. The question is now, why is Jake Tapper suddenly changing his tune? Well, it's not just Jake Tapper. It's, it's the whole ruling class. Do you think it's a coincidence that CNN is now taking a more skeptical, more, I don't know, calm, more reasonable approach to COVID at the very same time that Joe Biden is trying to pivot on COVID. And Joe Biden is saying, look, there's no federal solution here. Look, we're all just going to have to get back to normal at the very same time that the Democrat governor of New York is saying, actually, the hospitalization numbers are being exaggerated at the very same time as the CDC director is saying, actually, the hospitalization numbers or the death numbers rather, have been somewhat exaggerated because of the issue of comorbidities. Do you think it's just a coincidence that all of these various facets of society, many of which are supposed to be pitted in opposition to one another, are just all of a sudden changing their tune at the same time because why? Because that is now in the interest of the ruling class, which has many different facets to it. That's why. Because there are diminishing political returns for the lockdowns and forcing everyone to get the constant jabs and and harping on COVID forever and ever and ever. They've already seized the power that they wanted to seize. They've already upended our society. They've already taken away a lot of our liberties. And so they're all going to pivot and move on to the next thing. And they're going to do it in concert with one another. And the most offensive part of all is they're going to pretend that they're actually fighting one another the whole time. They are going to relieve themselves on your leg and tell you that it is raining. Hey you, it's nice to be with you. Nice to see you. I'm glad we could spend this time together. If you want to spend more time together, ring my bell. That's right. Ring my bell, LL. Ring my bell. You will get the notifications. You can also head on over to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, wherever you get your audio podcasts. Subscribe to The Michael Knowles Show, M-I-C-H-A-E-L, K-N-O-W-L-E-S, space S-H-O-W. See you next time. Rrr.